Hey everyone. Um, how do I shoot? How am I going to be able to read chat? Hmm. Can I minimize this and open up another window? And go to YouTube. You go to me. Let me see. Go to me. My channel. Here it is. Mute myself. Okay. Hello. Hi, Jean. Hi, Deb. Hi, Brill. How's everybody? Yeah, I'm at my um, <laughs> I'm at my kitchen table because my husband's gone. Hi, Keisha. Thanks. I'm glad to be home. I'm gonna do like Laura and give myself a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so I can slide this out of the way. Oh, there goes my camera. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. It's always something. It's always something. There's my face. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Everybody like that ride? Okay, camera, don't fall this time, please. Shish. Yeah, ouch. Sorry about that, Keisha. Did I drop you on your head? <laughs> okay. I think that's all right. Yeah, you just had a little tour of the kitchen, right? Huh. This is new, so it's going to take me a sec. Hey, Roy. Nice. Glad you're here. There. I think that's good. I think I have room to show you guys my stuff. I told everyone I was coming on at 7, so it's like one more minute. What does everybody think of uh, the Jeopardy guy losing? Are you happy about that or sad to see his reign end or do you not care? Neutral. Yes, happy to see you too. I've been watching the 1000 videos. Do you guys know what the 1000 is? Neutral. Brill's sad. <laughs> Keisha's neutral. Anybody else have an opinion on Mr. Jeopardy? I'm sad to see him go. It was exciting. He didn't get to the Ken Jennings total. He still had 60,000 left, I think. Where are my dogs? Uh, Pixie is in her crate laying down, and I don't know where Otis is. Well, you don't watch Jeopardy? I love Jeopardy. How's the sound, you guys? Can you hear me okay? Because it's raining, and I have the turtle filter on. Sounds fine. Okay, good. Well, I can start by showing you guys this. I thought this was absolutely hilarious. It's Mrs. Burns' Dictionary of Unusual, Obscure, and Preposterous Words. Yeah, we have a turtle. His name's Gary. Louise is here. Oh, hey, Louise. Welcome.
Yeah, I have a turtle. He's, he's, uh, his name is Gary Laser Eyes. He's named after um, Bubbles on Trailer Park Boys. One of his cats was named Gary Laser Eyes. Hey, Gene, thanks. Glad to be home. I wish it would stop raining, though. I do like my green lawn. My green lawn is nice. <laughs> we had to put a new liner in the pool, so the rain is good. It's filling it up because we're on a we're on a well, so we can't really run the water too much. But the rain also brings out the mosquitoes and the black flies because the mosquitoes like standing water which the rain provides, and the black flies. Hey, Rosie. Hello, hello. Uh, and the black flies like, uh, like running water to lay their eggs in. So either way, we finally have a day, of two, day or two of dry weather, but the storms are coming again here on Line Island. Yeah, we'll probably hit here first and then go to you. So. Did you get your package from Rosie? Is that who you're talking about, Keisha? Packages are fun. Fun, fun, fun. But look at this long word on the cover of this dictionary. It says, oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce, pronounce this. Hippotomostrosis quadrupedalian. Hippotomostrosis quadrupedalian. Pertaining to a very, very long word, see sesquipedalian. <laughs> We've been cleaning the cover out of the pool. It shed black. Oh, no, Deb. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Keisha got a package from Rosie. Yeah. Packages from Rosie are nice. So I thought that book was funny. All right, so it's, yeah, isn't that a crazy word? Hippo, hippo to most quadruple. I'm not going to try to pronounce that again. <laughs> but I found a word in here. It said something about junk. Something about collecting stuff, but I don't know. Can't remember. I was reading this for fun in the car on the way home. Hey, hi, we spent some time on the bays on Southern Long Island. If you've ever been bitten by a green fly, hey, okay, a horse fly, yes, yes, they hurt. There's horse flies and deer flies here. The horse flies are bigger and the deer flies are smaller. But yeah, they hurt. They hurt. They make you go, oh, and slap. They also like to fly around your head. Yeah, it's called the hoarder, exactly, Keisha. As you're walking along, we'll just fly around your head, fly around your head, fly around your head. And we'll land. We'll try to bite you. They're awful, awful, awful little critters. Okay, let me start by showing you guys some stuff I got. And this is just still in the bags. I bought it in. I just went and got it and brought it all up. It's not in any kind of order or anything. Mm. That bag is kind of ripped. Um, I got this computer cleaning kit. Very exciting. Oh, lens cleaner kit. Wow. I'm gonna use it on my on my computer. This has got the little thing, which is cool. No, I'm not selling all these items. <laughs> Some of them, a lot of them. Probably, yeah, but not, not all of them. <laughs> Hi, Rosie, Keisha, Brill, Jean, Deb, and Lee. So many friends. We had a close friend named Jean Moore. Oh, that's me. Squeezer song. Let's see. This is stuff from the, this is one of my favorite thrift stores to go to in Florida. Hi, Creative Wings. Welcome, glad to have you here. I haven't done a, I haven't gone on in a long time. It's been a while. 
So this is my one of my favorite thrift stores to go to in Tupper Lake. It's the uh, Humane Society one. And all their books there are 10 cents. I didn't find anything really exciting there. All I found were these napkins, but I love to go. So I found these napkins. Let's see. They are tulips. Which is pretty. And what's this? Ooh, strawberries. Strawberries. And these are some happy birthday. Yeah, 10 cents. The books are 10 cents, but man, all they had were like novels and stuff like that. And these really cool tie-dye ones. That bag was 99 cents. And then I got these roosters. These were a dollar. 40 of them in there. And then at a different thrift store, I found the illustrated reference book of animals. Oh, where's Sue? Hi, Sue. Yeah, roosters. Aren't they neat? I got this book, Illustrated Reference Book of Animals. Hi, everyone. Sorry, got to run. Got unexpected company. Oh, well, I hope. Where's Luz? Hey, Luz. Well, I hope that um, you enjoy your company. That'd be awesome. So let's see. Um, illustrated Book of Animals. Yes. The reason I got this is because the pictures are drawn. They're not like photos. Is Kateri here? Where's Kateri? There she is. Hey, Kateri. Snakes. Turn the page. <laughs> I love animals. Hey, there's a giraffe, Deb. Some birds. Yeah, snakes. Yuck. I'm not afraid of them. I just, you know, they're not very cuddly. So I thought that was a neat book. And then I got this book. I already have this book. I use it all the time. It's ABCs of Nature. You were lucky waiting for the giraffe, huh? <laughs> this is a pretty cool book. This has got really nice illustrations in it. Really pretty. Oh, Ami is here. Where's Ami? There she is. Hey, all outside on a quick break at work. Hey, cool, Ami. There's some turtles. How's it going? I'm pretty good. How are you? We've been doing so much yard work and gardening that I haven't had any time for crafting or creative. But I'll be back in the group in a day or so. I love my yard. yard. Roy, take advantage of it while you can. We have such long winters. Take advantage of it. Get out in the sunshine. Who needs a 32-hour day, right? Hey, there's Angie, Petal Passion Crafts. Hi, Aaron and everyone. Just going to silently observe, but had to say hello. Okay, Angie. That's awesome. I'm glad you're here. Is my autofocus on? Oof. I don't want to turn it off. Not wanting to work, but it's good. Just want to retire. Yes. Yeah, but if you, you know, then you have to be a certain age. and That's no fun. I got these cards. I'm just addicted to cards with pictures on them. And these were half off. Ooh. So I got these for a dollar. And they're the same. It's just a blue urn. Oriental or, you know, I don't know. Is that a PC word? Chinese. So those are cool. They're clear on YouTube. Cool. But is my autofocus going like, you know, going cuckoo? I got these Budweiser playing cards because I might do a, um, 
like a libations journal. I have, I have, you know, a good collection of those. What's this? What kind of tchotchke that I get that I don't need? Oh, he was cool. It's a vintage salt and pepper shaker. It says Japan on the bottom. I think he's cute. So I got him. And then I got this stamp with my initial on it. There, and you sound very relaxed. Autofocus is good. Hope I didn't miss anyone. Oh, this was at the Goodwill. This was $1.99. It's just cards. Whoops. Let's move him out of the way before I break him. I don't want to break him. Break my little friend. This is just card stock. Nothing too exciting. You know. Put the die cutting. Got that on the way home. No. I'm sorry. I did not. Got that at Goodwill. Hey, Debbie. Budweiser cards. Yeah, they're cool. I have Budweiser, Jack Daniels, some other ones too. I can't remember. And then I grabbed this really pretty wallpaper border. Thought it would. Oh, Ray is here. Hey, happy Ray. All I did was read your comment. I didn't see. Hello. I'm sad. I thought that was really pretty. Jennifer Jane is here too. Hey, Jennifer Jane. I thought that was kind of cool. Thanks, Keisha. What else do I have in this magic bag of wonders? Some satin ribbon on a vintage card. Anyone remember the Miss Ryan Gold Beer Beauty Contest? No, nope. I do not. So this is 50 yards of like gray. It says it's satin, but it feels kind of. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's acetate. It says it right out of the package. 44 cents postage paid. <laughs> I got this just because. Did anyone else's mother tie this, this stuff in their hair? Watch Happy Ray and Joe Jelly Plate. Oh. I, that's my next, that's my next thing. Some of my favorite men. What is that? Kateri's, oh, Kateri's waving hello to everyone. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, this is red. It looks orange on the camera, but I know, I'm sorry, Keisha. But it's red. It's red. So did anyone else's mother tie that in their hair? When they were younger? <laughs> I got some buttons. How I love my buttons. And I got some more buttons. Yeah, bring anything into the house until I send some of my precious hoard out to me. Green. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Don't start barking, you two people. Be good. There's nobody out there. It's raining. <laughs> Buttons. Is that vintage yarn, the big chunky stuff? That's awesome. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's that big chunky. Used to be able to get it in all different colors, like a multi-pack. And um, well, my mother used to tie it around, tie it, you know, in my hair. 
and that was a little free lives in my house. A lot of these look I don't know, like they have paint on them or something. Weird. <laughs> Doing Otis. Otis is making his bed. I got this really cool. Yeah. I got this really nice table runner. Lilacs, lilacs, and lavender. Mm. Oh, you had multicolors. I liked them. I thought they were cool. And then there's this part, it's like goes in the middle. We're on a a table, or your um, this goes on your table, and then this would go on your buffet, and it's two sided. No, oh, oh, this Deb said hi. Purple. <laughs> and the other side of this one is just like that. I don't know what that. It's like mock. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's M O I R E. How do you pronounce that, Louise? You're still here, Louise. How do you pronounce that? Yeah, pretty fabric. Really pretty. I was very happy to find that. And I found this adorable tin butterflies. Where's the lid? There's the lid. And then here's the lid. It's a pretty lid. That would make two lovely envelope handbags. Oh, yeah. It would. You're right. Uh, M-O-I-R-E, Louise. It's a type of fabric. M-O-I-R-E. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Right? Especially butterflies. Oops. And it's got this pretty lid. Got that. And then I found this awesome mushroom fabric. It's vintage. I'm in love with it. I love it. I love mushrooms. I love. Is that calico? I love calico. It looks so 1970s. I think it's really cute. Can't figure out how to sound it out for you. Okay. Is it more More I know. Doesn't that look like me? <laughs> Such a 1970s kid. And then I found these quilt panels, butterflies. These are awesome. These look like feed sack fabric to me, like the real thing. Way, way, okay. Way. Whoa, this might make your eyes go cuckoo. Hope it doesn't make the camera go cuckoo. Noir. Okay. Noir. Noir. Okay. Okay. Noir. Gotcha. Aren't these beautiful? I love these. Uh, just fussy cut a bunch of butterflies the other day. Now, why wouldn't they want? <laughs> hey, Amelia. How are you? Cute, cute. I like those two. Yeah. 
I found this neat, um, it's like placemat size. Pick that up. Get the tape on this one. Oh, I can get it. This is a tablecloth. Or I'm sorry. Why are my nouns not right today? I don't know. Not a tablecloth. It's a pillowcase. It's got a pretty pretty edge to it. It's a machine stitched, but it's pretty. It's got the scalloped edges and everything. So Great finding so far, Erin. Thank you, Keisha. We picked up this the Grosset Webster Dictionary. I liked it because it looked like it had a lot of pictures in it. Here's the cover. Am I still on vacation or are you are you telling us you're on vacation? Oh, Brill, you're always on vacation. Especially that placement. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? It's got flowers embroidered on it. But here's that dictionary, and it has seemed to have a lot of pictures in it, which I like. And then I picked up this birthday book, birthdays, anniversaries, and special days to remember. Here's the cover, and then the actual cover is the same, which is nice. My nouns, yes, I keep my nouns, they're not. And then the edge is um, whatever that's called, marble, there we go. I just thought it was pretty. Grab that. And then I snagged this uh, VFW calendar. It was a cold quarter. So I can get the edge on the vent here. Ooh. I have a pillowcase obsession. I like to change mine every few. Hey, that's cool. You change it every few days. Thanks, April. And then I got this. It's a calendar of birds. This whole quarter. Here's the Hummer. These are all the birds that are in it right here. Got to the bottom of that bag, girls. Oh, and guy. <laughs> That's not weird to me, no. Hey, if you have a whole bunch and you can switch them out, why not? Go for it. Go for it. You can see I have Bittersweet Symphony stuck in my head. Yeah. By the verb. Question for video creators. Can I use Wikipedia pictures in my videos if I give Wikipedia credit for them? I don't know. Mm. You like that song, Angie? Angie, if you ever get the chance, um, go on uh, YouTube and look up the 1000. I respond to anything my folks often use the tune. Girl, oh. <laughs> this is a pretty neat book, Success with Houseplants. I got it because, once again, it's not pictures, it's illustrations. And there are a ton. In here. A ton. And the pages are yellowed around the edges already, which is nice. 
I have that houseplant book. You love it. Cool. Yeah, this is a fussy cutter's dream. So what is that? Cephalo. Old man cactus. Cephalo cirrus. When shampooing a cephalo cirrus, be sure to cover the potting mixture to avoid soaking it with detergents. You're just supposed to wash it. Look at that page. That's a cool page. All the little cacti. Cute. Yeah, this book is pretty, isn't it? Ooh, look at that. My mom had a plant like that. She called it adder's tongue. Bromeliaceae. Bromelia. What would Kateri say? I love that book coming in. Oh, you have that book coming in the mail. Really? That's funny. See, we have the same taste. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I finally found one of these. I've been looking and looking and looking and looking and looking, and I finally found. And I found a Rolodex for Miliads. There you go. And it's brand new. Still in the plastic. Look at that. It was five bucks, but somebody had cards. Central Florida Foot Care, Gastroenterology, Eye Surgery, Man, oh, Nail Clinic. Mm -hmm. Okay, this person had lots of interesting cards to put in their Rolodex. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know I was going to make that awful sound. Oh, that was bad. Oh, here's some. Oh, look at these. They have the cards stapled to them. This is a pleasant little surprise. These are cool. Uh huh. Neat. Oh, this one's typed. Oh, man. I wish they were all typed. That would be so cool. Here's another one. Oh, I like the typed ones. Bitsy. Somebody need. Oh, my goodness. Her name was Bitsy Teddy. Get out of here. That can't be someone's name. Bitsy Teddy. Seriously. Can you guys see that? Right, you know, a little giggle. <laughs> it's with the D though. T I D D Y was. Sounds the same. I bought mine for work and never used it. Sits on my desk now. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do with it, Deb? You should sell it at your next sale if you're not gonna use it. These are stuck together. Get her. Yeah, these typed ones are cool. I like it. What else we got? Kelly, Jimmy, and Emma. Julie Ecker. Jimmy Kelly. Car wash. Miss Jane Hill. Ruby Hewitt. Ruby, daughter Hewitt. Um, yeah, sell it. What did Brill say? Teddy or Titty? Uh, T.I. That's an I. Oh, a Rolodex is a good place for your passwords. I keep mine. No, I'm not going to tell you because, you know, but I have to shoot you. You guys probably can't see that. Can you see it? 
here and you can keep those and alter them. Yeah. My camera, probably not. T-I-D-D-Y, see it? Mm-hmm, it's Teddy. Teddy. I like the typewritten ones. Miles Tree Service. What are you guys saying? <laughs> also great for addresses. Yeah, yeah. Right, Kateri? Absolutely. Mark Crenshaw. Very coded. Catherine Childers. All right, I'm probably bored. Frank Bourne. wonder if he's related to Jason Bourne. Mm -hmm. Bonnie Daly. Blanche Witten. Birdie Mitchell. These sound like rich people. Blanche Dorito. Dorito, come on. We have a titty and a Dorito. Bertha Dumas. Dorothy Beckley. Now Alexander Amico. Alex Alexander. Come on, people. Who does that to their kid? Home Akikos. I'm going to watercolor and ink some of my cards. Cool. You know, Abril, I just got ya, ya, ya after all these times. A titty and a Dorito. <laughs> What do you want for your decks embellishments? Rosie? A titty or a Dorito? All right, I gotta stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like these older ones. A Rolex. Oh, you want the actual thing to put them in. Siri, is there a button where I can zoom in? On my camera? Is that a thing? I feel like you're far, far away. <laughs> there, let you type at that time, Rosie. <laughs> I want a Rolex too. Yeah, heck yeah. You have to do it from the camera program. Okay. Mm, okay. Mm. No, no. Okay. Is it under preferences? Webcam controller, probably. No, I can't. Dang it. Um, no, no, no. Open. Open, I say. Heck. It's my next goal. Mm. I want it open. Open, please. Is it down here now? Oh, God. I'm so clueless. No. Oh. I can't see because this is covering everybody. That won't move. Okay. Get you out of the way. Come on, get out of the way. Uh, uh. Should be the first window. There will be a skid bar. 
Oh my. Hold on. Let me go over to here. Oh. Just. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it because I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I'm not gonna waste everyone's time. Okay. Next bag. <laughs> Lot and lots of kits before that happens, Keisha. Wait, I missed something. So funny, I am a klutz and do a lot of oh, house repair. So I'm always cutting myself somewhere since starting my channel. I'm so careful, careful not to cut my hand or fingers, but I have had little success. <laughs> uh, lots and lots of kits. Okay, I can't scroll up, so I'm going to wait long enough. All right, so here's some, this is some wrapping paper I grabbed at the Goodwill. Now I haven't looked at any of this stuff. It got purchased, put in the storage, you know, valley thing under the... I have some of this wrapping paper. I love it. I'm almost out, though. Let's move this. I'll try not to make that sound. That's annoying. Lots of kids. Look at this cute wrapping paper. I'm going to have to cover a journal with that. How cute is that? This is okay. Ooh, Kateri, look it. Stamps. Be back. Got to go back to work. Okay, Rosie, you get back to work. Nose to the grindstone. Mm, maps, and then we have, I see myself fussy cutting some of those. Some butterflies. This is some shells. Calling sick, Rosie. <laughs> yeah, Rosie, tell the boss you can't go to work today. Here's some ocean ones. Oh, wait, that one's upside down. Let me turn. Okay, there's that one. Oh, look at the cute teddy bears. So cute. Oh, here's some more teddy bears. I live. I live in the second floor hot apartment. Oh, with a wall air conditioner. How am I supposed to record a video? Started my channel in October, so never had to do this. Oh, why? Because it's loud, Angie? Is it loud? Is that why? Because of the noise? Or because it's too hot? Or both? Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> look at the trolls. <laughs> oh my god, it's too funny. What do we have? We have a we got Merlin and a pirate. And I guess that's supposed to be a knight. And then we have the fair maiden. And I don't know what. That is supposed to be. Oh, the jester, maybe? Oh, it's loud. Okay. Mm. Oh, my God, that's flipping fun. I don't know what that one is supposed to be. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Thanks, Kateri. I think they're off. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, take a drink of water. You pull my chair in. A little bit better. Another set of these. 
these go up to 30 and 31. Um, maybe I use the livelier mic pinned to my shirt. Ah, I live in a busy city, not quite upside and too hot otherwise. Fancy in your car then? <laughs> Yeah, you have to go sit here, cut. I just watched a movie where somebody went and sat in their car because the air conditioning went off in their house. What movie was that? Or was it a book I read? Who knows? Who knows? All right, guys, these were cheap, so I hope these were worth my purchase. Has anyone ever used these? Aaron, I have the exact blue cars <laughs> with the numbers. They're nice and thick. That's why I bought them. No car. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly Clark. How are you? Roy has the airplanes from JFK in those darned landscape. Oh, I know. Someone was making a video one day, and it was... Uh, Gemini Thrifts, she kept having to turn her video off because she was out on her porch trying to do a video and the, the leaf blowers kept coming on. She was so annoyed. So these are like, I don't know, guys. They make, are they for fat? Does anyone use these? Let me take them out of the bag so I can show you what they are. They've got like little teeth. Roy, you probably know. See, they've got like little teeth. Like, how do you use them? What do you What do you do? Anybody know what those are? I know they're to like to make a hole, like a. I think it's for fabric. Pretty sure. They're like grommets, right? You guys know? Hold them closer. Hold on. Let me flip them back over. Hold me closer, time to dance. I think grommets for fabric. Yeah, how do you? How do you use them? There's only the, the point, the pointy. Do you just use one? You don't have one on each side? You just put it through and then hammer the little points down. You need a machine? They don't look as strong as a grommet. Oh, they're, they're metal, they're strong. Yeah, they have prongs. I thought maybe there was like a, a male and a female. Okay, should be too right. And I, I mean, and they're all the same, I think. What's this? It's different. Oh, those are the same. Those are the same. Those. Yep. They all have prongs. The prongs look too small. What? Oh, wait. What's this? Hold on. I've made a discovery. Let's see. Hey, Darla's here. Hey, Darla. Okay, so there's these. Do these go on there? And if so, ow. I'm going to have to look it up because I have no earthly idea how these work. I really am quite clueless. See, and then there's these little Funky do jobbies. <laughs> Cut off the prongs and. 
Roy, I will have you know, I dressed up as a Viking for Halloween once. It was awesome. I had the hat with the horns. Yeah. There's a lot of them, though, you guys. Uh, that's a lot of snipping. Well, I'm going to look up a YouTube video first and see. Let's see, let's see. You know, what it is, how it's used. <laughs> uh, let's see, what time is it? 747. 747. Now I'm living so I'm living for me. Playing in a traveling band. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's put the yellow ones away. I get the bag open. Man, is it raining. Ooh, wee. There's no thunder, though, so my dogs are chill, which is good. Otis does not like thunder and lightning. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. By the way, I love the Dresden plate coaster. I'm going to steal or uh, borrow that idea. Who are you talking to? Who had the Dresden plate coaster? Hey, Laura Vasquez, how you doing? Nothing escapes you. Dresden plate coaster. You should great minds think alike type the same thing. <laughs> right? You guys. All right. So there's that little bit of a mystery object. If I ever get it solved, I will let you know. All right. On to the next bag. What do we have? What do we have? Cap Hidsons in print. Brilliant ideas for using vintage fabrics in your home. This book is amazing. You guys are going to be probably looking on eBay and seeing if you can find this book. Because it is cool. Your water is on it. Oh, this. Oh, <laughs> that's. It's a Dresden plate coaster. I didn't know it was a Dresden plate. It's a little, it's a quill. <laughs> oh, Dresden plate quilt pattern. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know. I just bought it because I liked it. That's funny. <laughs> Here's the other side. It's got a little hanger. It's well loved because it's got, you know, it's thin in spots. So whoever owned it before me liked it oh, too. No more books can come through these doors. I'm moving in a few months. Okay, Angie. Keisha. So anyway, here's this book, this book of vintage material patterns. Ooh. Consider it stolen. I told you we should live next door to each other, Roy. I'd be coming over for crochet lessons and you could be stealing my coasters. You'd be get along like a house on fire. <laughs> so this is a book about how to use your vintage fabrics, but a lot of the pages have. Yeah, close your eyes now, EMG. Close them. This is a pretty Oh, that's a nice book. But see, the pages have like close ups of the fabric. See, look. Yep. 
Look how pretty. Ooh. Aprons, I love aprons. Tablecloths, I love vintage fabric. Delicate chintzes. 50s florals. That's bark cloth. I have some bark cloth. Look, isn't that cool? Ooh, look at those lampshades. You can open them now. <laughs> Keesh out of your bead. So anyway, there's that book, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on with vintage florals on every page. Look at that. Oh, look at I don't know. Are you guys as crazy about vintage florals as I am? I love them. Love them. Anyway, thank you, Jennifer Jane. I fell in love with it. It's, the original price was $24.95. It's uh, www.chroniclebooks.com. Kath Kidston. I guess she's got her own prints that she does. What's this? Oh, this is one of those um, Better Homes and Gardens books that, uh, oh gosh. You know what I forgot? You found it on Thrift Books. <laughs> cool dialogue. Can someone message Sandra and let her know I'm on? The skies have opened up. Oh, no, Roy, the rain reached you already. Oh. Mm. Poor Roy. So, yes, if someone could message Sandra Pena, Sandra Miranda, and let her know I'm on. Oh, I feel so bad when I do that. She only has her phone though, so she might not even come on. But anyway, this is um this is landscape gardening. It's a full series. This is the landscape one. And it's got all it's all um drawn, you know, in the back. The way these books are, they have all of the pictures, like the photographs in the front, and then in the back. Oh, Darla's got storms. It's raining here. It's raining in Indiana. <laughs> Roy is under the dining room table. <laughs> oh. I have to go. Friend calling by. Okay, Angie. Have fun on the phone. Thanks for stopping in. See, and then the rest of it is all photos. But yeah, if you ever see these books and you think, oh, it's all photographs. Do back is where all the goodies are, where all the pretty drawings are. So then I got this bag of what's this? Oh these are um I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these up. Hello shams. And I like them because they have the little raised middles, which I thought was pretty and a little different. So and then it's got the edging. You now it's got all kinds of neat stuff. It's got the edges. Oh, 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 now we're talking. <laughs> so these are pretty neat. I thought these were nice. I grabbed those. That was at the Goodwill. Oh, let's see. Mm. Oh, doggy, please don't bark. Hey, I'm online. Okay, let's test, not Chris. Hey, 
Oh, and then I went to, this is also Goodwill, Southern Wildflowers, Laura C. Martin, illustrated by Maura Magellan. Erin, it looks like you came over to my house for some items. Shh, keep shut. Don't look in your cupboard. Don't look in your cupboard, Keisha. Look at this book. Not every page has a picture on it, but there are enough in here where I wanted to buy it. Where you live, PD, have been. I was raised in an average crocheter's home. Cannot pass any crochet. Oh, I, I, yep. I like it too. So yeah, here's this book. And like I said, not every page has all of the Goodwill stores on Long Island closed. They were just too expensive. Probably the rents they had to pay. Oh, yeah, because they're not really a charity, you know. Yeah, they're a business. Yeah, the guy that owns it, he's, yeah, Goodwill, my butt. When people donate to the Goodwill, more than they donate to Salvation Army, their stuff, I mean. You go to, if you go to a Salvation Army and a Goodwill that are in the same town, people will donate to the Goodwill and not to the Salvation Army. Goodwill. Well, they're better. Good. At least Salvation Army is an actual charity. Goodwill isn't. It's just a man that owns a business. I don't know what that is. They do or they 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 support them? They don't. Well they don't. They don't. Well are they anti or do they do yes, things? Uh, what is this? Sorry, I know you're lying. It's fine. You're fine. It's like somebody blew their nose on it. Probably one of the dogs. Oh, I think it's a chocolate chip. Oh. The chocolate. I think I'll sleep on. <laughs> Tessie fell asleep on a chocolate chip and melted it into um, sweatshirt. her sweatshirt. I'm sleepy. Yeah. And she thought the dogs, she was about to yell at the dogs. Not yell at the dogs, but accuse them of. Accuse, yeah. Accuse the dogs of uh, drooling on her sweatshirt. How many viewers do you have? Right now, it looks like 17. Hello, 17 viewers. Tessie said, hello, 17 viewers. Am I allowed to have a conversation with you? Sure. What do you mean? Um, today at work, Jane called me with Tessie. And she goes, oh, I'm sorry. If if you don't like being called that, I was like, no, everyone calls me that. At school, people actually slip up and say it and say the same thing. Oh. I'm like, no, everyone at home calls me that. Like, Tessie. All my friends, all my family. <laughs> What's your name? Ben. This is Ben. Call me Tessie, Tessie. And then I said, how you call me Tessie? with Tessie. Yeah. Miss Shower liked that one a lot. <laughs> all right, so here's the next book. This is um, like a Sound of Music documentary. My ex-husband, who was in Vietnam, says that the Salvation Army would give SIGs to dying men. Other organizations tried to make them pay. Oh. What does he say? Darla. Uh, Darla says her ex-husband, who was in Vietnam, says that, on the, that the Salvation Army would give cigarettes to dying men. Other organizations tried to make them pay. Oh, a brill. And other things, too, of course, she said. What did you say? And other things, too, of course, well, there she said. Well, good things. There's just some days and bad things. Um, okay, so this is about the sound of music. One of my favorite musicals. And it's just got pictures of um, the movie being made and then background like stories on the actual family. Hmm. Try the pickle. 
I have to try a pickle, guys. It's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's garlic and dill. I should have bit it. Yeah. Woo! Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so sour. It's cucumber water, distilled vinegar, and salt, garlic, and milk. That's it. Mm. Pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Andrew, yeah. I love me some Julie Andrew. Okay, so here's some more. There's that. Really pretty. And this. <clears throat> How do you solve a problem like Maria? How do you solve a problem like Maria? Oh, this is a butterfly. How do you catch a cloud and pin it down? How do you something, something like Maria? Let me you like the will of the wisp, a clown. That one's pretty. Just saying, he witnessed this firsthand. Not happy to hear. Oh, Darla heard you. Mm. Well, the LGBT anti. Yep. I was unhappy to hear it too. Because I always gave them my change and my dollar bills that, that's changed. And I was like, oh, why do people got to do bad things? Yep. Here's another one of them. And then I grab this really pretty, delicate little bird. This was at, I told Johnny about this thrift store. This is, this is the White Chapel thrift store, White Chapel Church thrift store in uh, Daytona. I told Johnny about it. So, And then I found this old... Let's see, Sasheen brand ribbon. 50 yards of it. <laughs> but it's cute, it's baby. It's got babies and pins and spoons and duckies. And it's almost the whole length of an indoor tree. Really? Thank you for mentioning it. I would have been right, Roy. I don't blame you. Ray knew, Ray knew that they were against it, but he didn't want to mention it because he didn't want to upset oh. anyone or whatever. We got to talk about problems or else they don't get fixed. Boy. Oh, wait. Oh, hello. Very cool. So glad you're here. What is it? Oh, Wishes in Weeds. I love her channel. She does really great. She has, oh my God, she has the best hauls. She just, she just posted a haul video today, you guys, if you want to check it out. She's, yeah, you should subscribe to her. Well, you should subscribe to each other, but if you're not subscribed to, oh, I can't remember your first name. I'm having a, my nouns are escaping me today. Oh. You're going to have to type it in. I can't remember. Wishes in weeds, Roy, not weed. She's not wishing for weed. <laughs> and she might be. <laughs> and then I got my favorite thing. I got Rick Rack. Woo woo. You do have a bunch of that. I love it. I use it on everything. Love this some Rick Rack. Wait, where's Nancy? Oh, Nancy, right, Nancy. Why couldn't I think of Nancy? Fancy Nancy. It's my sister's name. Are you fancy too, Nancy? <laughs> yep, she's in Canada. But oh, yeah. oh, I love Canada. Yes, Tessie loves Canada. She's talking about Canada today, how I want to move there. Yep. There she was. I don't know if I'm going to get through this, you guys. I'm getting a wicked headache. Did you a draw from the soda? It, I think it is. And then I got this few more. Yes, pile of pump trim. 
Yes, congratulations, Rick Rack. Thank you. Keisha knows I love Rick Rack. <laughs> exactly. If we don't talk about it, then continues. Looks like I need to do some research and write some letters. There you go, darling. You write them wow. some letters. Good girl. I appreciate it. Darla's awesome. Oh, Darla? Darla. Oh, sorry. I called you Darla. Darla. I appreciate you, Darla. Darla's awesome. Well, everybody on here is awesome, but yeah. Darla works. I think she works in an office. I think that's what she said. Um, look at this cool game. I, the, I remember when um, I worked in the kindergarten class, they had this. It's called Slamwich. It's got... It's got bread. It's so fun. This, do you remember playing this game in kindergarten? Got maters and peanut uh -huh. butter. Look at how cool. Onion. You wouldn't like that sandwich. No, I don't like mushrooms. What? Blah, blah, blah. There's some lettuce. Pickers. <laughs> What, what's the game? Uh, I can't remember. It has something to do with that. Uh, it's like war, oh. but you play it like a peanut butter sandwich. Yeah, that trim is something, isn't it? <laughs> Keisha says, I have that game. Wait, you did come over, but when? <laughs> Telling you, Keisha, don't go check your cupboard. I think that's everything. How old is Keisha? Um, I think she's like 32. I think I could be wrong. I remember naps in kindergarten. Yes, I don't remember naps in kindergarten, but I do remember naps in um, yeah, uh, we called it magic carpet. It was like pre K. Keisha, wrong. Are you still in Florida, Erin? No, I'm home. I'm home. So this is, I thought this was kind of neat. It's called Auto Bridge Play Yourself Bridge Game. And it's called the Beginner Set. So here's the instructions. And then it comes with this really cool, like, board. And then it comes with all of these cards that go in it. I don't know. It was a quarter, so I said, ah, what the heck. But I don't know how to play bridge, so. The back opens up. And you put your paper in. My kindergarten teacher in 1952 was named Mrs. Wolf. I was terrified of her at first. I screamed and hit under a table. <laughs> That's Roy that said that. Oh my goodness. Too funny, Roy. I bet you're really cute, this little kid. Um, I'm taking that. I'm taking all the naps I didn't want to take when I was little. There you go. Oh, higher. You want me to hold it up higher, Keisha? Okay. Can you see it? Oh, your age. Oh, higher. I knew what she meant. I told you that. Because she said wrong. Try again or something like that. Oh. Not much higher. Can I guess? Sure. 37. Maybe right. <laughs> Darla just woke up from a nap. <laughs> so did Laura. Good for you guys. House, house plants, popular house plants. Geraniums, like a sperm. Ah, I don't know how to pronounce that. And a day lily, lily. gardenia, and fuchsia. What one can you pronounce? A-E-C-H-M-E-A. 
at me. Um, <laughs> but it's so popular. I hurt my kindergarten teacher with my purse. <laughs> I don't know why. But mom says I said the purse hit her. <laughs> oh, really, you're too funny. Hey Maddie. How's it going, Maddie? Did you just throw your computer out the window. <laughs> Thank you for the world. So sweet. Thank you for the food you eat. Oh. Oh. How's it going, Maddie and Madison? I got another cool tin. I'm going to make treasure boxes, you guys. I'm in the middle of making a butterfly one. I made a pink one. I made a butterfly one. I made a teal, blue, teal and blue one. What other ones did I make, Tess? Do you remember? I don't remember the butterfly. You showed you the box. Remember I put butterfly paper on it? So they only remember. Oh, we only right. I thought you said I don't even remember the butterfly. No, no, no. That's the only one I do. Who's down there? I hear crying. What you doing, Odie? <laughs> huh? What you doing, Bob? Oh, what? What is it, Bubba? I got these really cool pot holders. Never been used. I thought those were super pretty. Oh, they're really yeah. soft. And I got this because it almost looked like my maiden name. And it looked like my grandfather because my aunt, my grandfather's name is Alphonse Baudet. And this book was writ written by Alphonse Baudet. But it's Le Petit Shows. It's just a little book. I thought it was cute. And it's French. Mm. Do you say? Thought another type of thing, maybe. Would be, you should have took it. Is that a type of thing, or is that just an illiterate thing? That's, yeah. Illiterate. Mm -hmm. Max and Griffin both said it today about taking a job. Do they say token? No, they said you should have taken it. But do they say token? That's not a word. Took or token? Taken. Token is not a word. No, I am just Hey, Katie. Oh, Kathy's here too. Hey, Kathy. Looking at my my pile of treasures. <laughs> oh. Found another hot Helen Steiner Rice book. I I don't think it's ever been opened. Like it's tight. I think I sold this one before. Hello, you fabulous ladies. <laughs> Katie. Katie has a little girl named Teresa. Do they call her Tess? No, they call her Teresa, but she's full of it and she's hilarious. <laughs> she is very funny. Did I tell you my friend from college her, her twin sister's name is Tess Marie? I think you did. This is a quick pop. And then I got a little, a little German dictionary. Some really cute bamboo trellis napkin slash hankies. I got this, it's got shells. And I grabbed all these and I haven't looked at them yet. This is from an estate sale. So let me put this bag down. All right, 12 months of watercolor art prints, Susan Wallace Barnes. So let me open this up and see what we have here. Okay. 
that's what the front looks like. Tessie guessed you were 37. <laughs> she is full of something. That day, that day she got mad because her mom made her say hello. She was hello, Erin. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Hey, how old is she? Uh, I think she's four. No, no. Oh, yeah. She's uh, Oh, Keisha? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keisha, you going to tell us how old you are? Huh, Keisha? You guess them all. Aren't these cool? I don't know if you guys can even really see them, but and they're blank on the back. Well, yeah, because they're postcards, right? Oh, they're just watercolor art prints. Like Susan Allen? Wallace Barnes, 2011. Yeah. Logged in, searched up where went. Well, it's a different kind. I would rather sit on a pumpkin and have it all to myself than be crowded on a velvet cushion. <laughs> Me too. Hmm. Baba, what are you crying for? So yeah, I got quite a few of those. I don't even know how much they were. I just saw the pile and grabbed them. I spent quite a bit at this sale, more than I thought. So there's 2000. 2010, 2011, 2012, 2009, 16. Oh, the dinosaur voice. <laughs> oh, Keisha said she's 36. Tash, you were very close. In 2003. So I thought those were neat. And then I got these apple. I think these are so cute. Look at these, they're balances. Who's the cutest? We're cracking gingham again. The tea towel calendars, yeah. Sorry, off topic, but I'm so excited. We are taking a cruise in August, a charter. They just announced that. Oh, Kristen Chenoweth. Oh, my goodness. Did you love her in that show uh, uh, where they couldn't touch each other? Uh, if he touched anyone, they, they would, anything he touched died. Oh, what was that show? They called her Itty Bitty in the show. She was so cute. <laughs> I think I should put these up in the kitchen. No. Tessie said, no, they're not perfect for our kitchen, a girl. <laughs> I think they're so cute. They are so cute. All the little apples. Tessie said no. Oh, and I got a bunch of little books. This one's about angels. And then I got this one is, is just to say thank you. Can I talk about more controversial stuff? Tessie wants to talk about more controversial stuff. Dallas Valedictorian says high school cut her mic for naming police shooting victims in graduation succession. <clears throat> Dallas Valedictorian says high school cut her mic for naming police shooting victims in graduation speech. That's black. Yep. <laughs> Little slice of happy. She named Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, and Michael Brown. Wow. And they caught her mic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, this The teacher told her to take it out, and she didn't. Oh. And then they muted it immediately. That was a great idea. What did Brill say? 
Make one into an apron. Yeah. Abril or Keisha wants to know why you don't like them, Tess. Is it because they have rickrack? Why well, don't like the curtains? Mm -hmm. Oh, they don't go with our flow. Our kitchen is very like modern and retro mixed and the curtains we have right now don't really go with it either and those have pears and apples i think we would need something like geometric and blue not red personally so there you have it <laughs> aaron sorry to not know but who is oh that's my daughter tess roy <laughs> that's my daughter tess she's home from college I'm not she's she's all about injustices and stuff. So this um this book is about tea. Here's one of the pages. It's got all kinds of teapots. It's got really pretty pretty artwork in it and stuff. So there's that. Root says Roy says hi Tess and me too. Nice. Oh, and I found all these really cool pins. These pins are so cool. Look, we all have like, well, this one isn't that. These aren't. This one is a cool one. This one's. Where are all the neat ones? I picked, I grabbed them all. Oh, here's another tiny book. This one is called The Essence of Roses. Rosie missed this one. Oh, oh. <laughs> Keisha wants to know how Grayson is. <laughs> Grayson's doing pretty well. He's um staying busy with Uber. He's pretty happy with that. He applied to some company where they pay you like, I don't know, $100 a week. Did he say this? I have no clue. To put a wrap on his car for advertisement? Mom, 21 Pilots is playing for free in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh my God, Tess. June 5th. Did that already pass? That's today. Oh! 1 p.m. I missed it. <laughs> Darn. Darn it. <laughs> um, Nancy says, add a girl, Tess. Got to kick at the darkness until it bleeds daylight. Totally true. And she said, hashtag A2J. She's going to look it up. Roy says, I have two huge, two huge, I mean huge tassels I got in a thrift, thrift off. I have no idea what to do with them. Any ideas? I mean, they are huge. Don't they use those for curtain tiebacks? Those big, huge tassels? I'm thinking. Oh, Access to Justice. Ah, Access to Justice. Cool. It's also a band, according to John. Ah. What's, oh, what they called in the letter, letter, Kenny? Oh, my gosh. I should ask Nancy if she watches Letter, Kenny. And Nancy? Or no. Nancy? She's from Canada. Oh, she sh does she watch Trailer Bird Boys? Probably not. Or Letter, letter Kenny's funny. Where are them, Roy? <laughs> Something is left. You should hang them off of the top of your winter hat, Roy. That's what they are. Yeah, okay. Um, really you want to wrap on your car? Hey, look it up and see if there's anyone near you that pays. Look at this beautiful butterfly pin. That's going in the butterfly box. The butterfly treasure box. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. And then this is a really cool Christmas pin. It's got... um. Mary and Joseph sitting around the, uh, the cradle or whatever. I thought those were really cute. I've been to the trailer park. Yes, but <laughs> you watch the show Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> we Oh, she went to the set when she was in Nova Scotia. Wow. So, yeah, she knows who they are. That's awesome. Woo. Do you meet Bubbles? Bubs? Yeah, did you meet any of them? Or Mr. Leahy before he passed, rest in peace. Yep. The thing I was trying to think of was SJWs, social justice warriors. That's what the the mean Republicans <laughs> call them. SJWs. I'll take it. Yeah. 
<laughs> we went to the set when I was okay. Uh, I am above shame and self deprecation. Anyone who has seen my pics on Facebook page, <laughs> who said that? Roy. Oh. All right, let's get rid of this noisy bag. What's that? Hold on. Oh, are you going to say that? Tess. Uh -huh. Nancy says it was the week when Snoop Dogg was there. Oh, I saw Snoop Dogg live. He's awesome. Roy says, Tess, that's what old people use. We'll see some crazy pics. A bro says, with my luck, they wrap my car in Depends as an advertisement. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, a bro, you better not drive it in the rain. Oh, it'll get absorbed things. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, that's what we love about you. <laughs> Keisha says, bow, 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 yippee, yo, yippee, yay, bow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Snoop Dogg broke the record for uh, people at spec in the lawn. You guys hear that? Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa came to Saratoga Performing Arts Center and they broke the record for the most people that bought tickets for the lawn. Crazy. <laughs> people wanted to see them. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's move these so they don't get snagged in anything. And I couldn't believe it. this was at the end of the sale. And they had these right by the register, these awesome little pins, and nobody bought them. They're signed. I just think they're cool. I haven't looked them up or anything, but mm, I thought they were neat. I like to put them on my Christmas tassels up at the top. These might be Christmas presents. I searched to see the number, and the first article that came up is Back Snoop Dogg with Khalifa show leads to 43 arrests. <laughs> That's yeah, bro, don't let him wrap your car into pens. You'll be driving around with a full diaper. Diaper butt. Your car will have diaper butt. I got these really pretty napkins. They're linen. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they have the stags facing each other. They have a pile. One. Two. You know my obsession with napkins. If Katie is still here, three. There was all for underage drinking. That's Four. Good. Forty-three arrests for underage drinking. Uh, well, I hope they were behaving. And well, they were arrested. Six. No, I mean I hope they didn't get arrested because they were. Oh, they were being... calling fake IDs. Oh. Well, it says twenty-four had fake IDs. Aaron, I just wanted to say hi. I am not going. To, oh, I know, Angie. I read your comment on um, Maddie's live because I tried to go on Maddie's live, but I just kept getting the circle. Used to be a stag. Woohoo! Not stag anymore. You got a man. You got a man. You're not. not you're not alone. Oh, Angie. Poor Angie. So I got this Lowe's Garden Guide. I think these were a quarter. And I thought that like every page is just loaded with floral images. So I grabbed them. They're a quarter of 50 cents. I don't know. But you know how much these are in three bucks in the store. So what the heck. And then I got the Southern Living Garden Guide, which also has a lot of pictures in it. And I got the Southern Living Garden Guide to House Plants. Um, I actually might read this because I kill my house plants. Uh, like every single house plant I've ever had is dead. What are you sorry about? Hi, Angie B. So sorry. Oh, I know, honey. Poor Angie. Cry, Angie. That'll probably just make you not feel good if you cry. Then I got these vintage placemats, and I got these vintage placemats. They're just doilies. 
thought those were kind of cool. And I got this Christmas, an, air, an American Annual of Christmas Literature and Art. Yeah, it'll give, you'll get a headache. Don't cry. So there's that. Me too, Aaron, and their plastic. Aaron, I'm so sick. I had to go to the ER. Oh, Angie, are you, are you throwing up again? So this this is like still tight too. Never been opened. Yeah, what did they say? Poor Angie. This has got really neat pictures in it. And this is like really thick. So this is pretty neat. Pretty neat book. Christmas customs around the world. They think it might be the allergy shots. Oh. Uh-oh. What if it is your allergy shots? What are you going to do? Just be allergic? Where in Florida were you? I've been there twice this year. <laughs> uh, Daytona Beach and Ormond Beach. When you're there, do you do you, uh, Google thrift stores near me? Oh, Keisha's giving you some flowers to make you feel better, Angie. <laughs> There's some linens. This is a different bag. Where did I get these? Oh, these were. This was from a church thrift store that the old ladies, church craft fair people. It's time to start making the fair crafts, so we don't get caught rushing. Right. I was in Daytona the first week of April. Nada. You gotta Google. You gotta go on the Google and Google thrift stores near me. And you find stuff. I always find stuff. When were you there? First week in April. And this, I, I was so excited to find this because I've been looking for teeny tiny doilies. So look, I found this and I can take it apart. I used to do a ton of craft fairs, Roy. Oh, Sue's back. Hello, oh, Sue. So. I Googled. Oh my, no way, you didn't find one thing? Which ones did you go to? I always find stuff. There's another. And another. I love these. I love these. These are real cool. Thank you. Yeah. I think they're natural. I'm going to take a bag. I'm going to take a tubby. I think so. Warm up my muscles, stretch them all, but there's Epsom salt. They're lavender. There's plain ones in the cupboard in the back. Oh, there. In the bag. Green. They might be eucalyptus. No? Can't I'll do give, eucalyptus? I'll give them a sniff and see. Then I bought these super cool 100% cotton vintage. Hello cases. Hello cases. I love them. These will probably go on my bed. Because <laughs> I think we got another one. Oh, what did you do with that yellow towel? In my car. I just got that. That's my towel. And then I know that it's not dad's because it's different. Not getting those thrift shop yet. What'd you do with all the stuff, Tess? Oh, just refolded it. That's the no, it'll fit. I got rid of the stuff that not belongs. Yeah, yeah. Tessie's, Tessie's donating my stuff to the thrift store. Or I just tattle on you. If they saw our trouble house, now. they would donate it too. No, they wouldn't. Yeah. They'd go shopping. <laughs> um, Good, they can all come. Give them my address. Tell them to come shop. Nancy wants to know what you are studying in college. I am studying athletic training, which is similar to physical therapy. 
just a little bit less college. Roy said, be right back. Moving from dining room to my craft room. Just discuss without me. I'd like to see Roy's craft room. He intrigues me. I told him I want to live next door to him. <laughs> he wants this. He said he's going to come over and steal it. He said it's Did a Dresden. It? No. Oh. He said it's a Dresden quilt pattern. I had no idea. He says, I, I like your Dresden plate uh, coaster. What? He says, yeah, that's what that's called. Everybody was like laughing it. at me. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. Is he like a toys? Yeah, it was crafty. Uncle crochet. Not crafty? Not, no. Yeah. Uncle Andy likes to paint, and that's about it. But Roy, Roy does crochet. Aaron. Oh, hey, Angela. See you live and thought I would pop in to say hello and hello to all in chat. That sounds like a lot of, you know, movement and wearing pants. Best switches to you, Tess. <laughs> it is exactly that. But instead of jeans, it's khakis. Yeah, gotta wear khakis. Oh, the dreaded khakis. I hate khakis. I hate wearing khakis six days a week. <laughs> I think Otis has to go pee. I just told him. Well, he's doing the panting. I knew you saw him pee. pee. He, I watched him pee. Did he? Yeah, he peed. Well, he might have to do a poop now. Oh my gosh, Otis, you're a diva. Come on, you gotta go outside. <laughs> Come on. You just went out, buddy. Do you craft like your mom, huh? She, yes, yeah, she does like to craft. Yep, she does. So here's some more napkins. <laughs> oh, Angie, I'm sorry, that's Tess. That's Tess. A <laughs> real hey, homie cheese slice. How are you? A <laughs> real, you're too flipping funny. And then I bought these because I thought I might put together like a Chinese themed. <laughs> grilled cheese. Oh, cheese slice and grilled cheese. <laughs> Bedtime for me, girls, and all that talk of athletic stuff has worn me out. See you again soon. Nancy, I'm so glad you popped in, and I'll never forget your name again because my sister's name is Nancy. Like, And I knew your name was Nancy, but... She's also fancy. And she is fancy, yes. She is fabulous. So I thought these would be cool for like a, a Chinese or something journal. Yes, Angela, we're all glad to see you. And then I found this cool tin. Oh, someone wanted to know if you're crafty like me. Yeah. Yes, I am. I like scrapbooking though more than your type of crafting. Well, I like junk journaling because it, it entails everything. Well, my scrapbooks are kind of like a mixture of your old scrapbooks mixed with junk journaling. Because I make mine like collage scrapbooks. It's like a, uh, what she write? <laughs> yeah, I like weeds. Yeah, Roy said that earlier. <laughs> Grilled cheese themed junk journal? Question mark. Hey, oh, maybe. That'd be a good one. Mom, but, that's why he was crying. Let's see what my meat. Oh, that would be a cool theme—a cheese, grilled cheese thing. You do really neat things with that. Like every page could look like a piece of cheese and bread. And mm -hmm. there's a um, there's a store in or a restaurant in Ormond Beach. What's that? Right there, the picture. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look at it. Can I hold it? You want to look at it? Sure. There's a store in Ormond Beach. I'm sorry, restaurant. I keep saying store. It's called, um, oh, I can't think of it. But I, every time we come there, we go there, I always think that the next time we go, it's not going to be there. It's a grilled cheese restaurant. But it's always there. Theme park pictures. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
That's two of them. Um, I found this picture when I was donating all your stuff that you said I could donate, and I kept it because I didn't know if you wanted to donate. Okay. My back went out, so I'm not with all. This one? That's a to Joey. <laughs> yeah, I do want it. Who is that? No idea. It says to Joey. Yeah, but it's not. It's not answering. I don't think. This is just so weird. <laughs> Her on high. <laughs> Roy is back. Where to focus so? Turn on the light and watch where you walk. If you go to your sewing room and bare feet. Oh, oh, oh. It didn't go in too deep, did it, Roy? Oh, ow, ow. Can I look here? Yeah. No, you can look here. And then I found this really cute. Oh, this is from Newberries. Do you guys remember Newberries? Look at the price tag on it. It's from Newberries. Yes, Angela, get better. Bad back is no good. Thirty nine cents, and then it's got like a those Amish barn print things. Oh, I love it! Look at the top. Look. What is this? Like, where was this steam pipe? I don't know. You're gonna have to read it. Oh. You know I don't like doing that. Well, I'm sorry. I know. Sometimes the writer's from Chicago, so maybe that's what this was. Probably. I got this bag at the Goodwill for 99 cents. It's got all sorts of fun stuff in it, and I haven't even opened it yet. Where's Marty go? Chicago. Mardi Gras? No, that's in um, New Orleans. So we got halo buttons. Oh, these are cool. You you put that on the back and then you put that on the top and then that and you snap it through your fabric. That's cool. I don't know what I would ever use this for. Do they? Do you think they have any good ideas for a homemade graduation present for somebody who is going to fly so cannot bring a lot of stuff with them? That's good. Hey, fellow crackers. I have to make uh, my friend Sophia a graduation present, but high she's. School. Oh, yes, a high school graduation present. But she's going to England for graduation, so she can't bring a lot of stuff. Any ideas? I was thinking about making a little jar with like little tchotchkes in it where each one would have. Like a really little jar, where each one would have like a memory associated with it, but I would glue it shut so she couldn't open it. But I don't know. I'm looking for any idea. What are you crying at? You just ate Bubba. No more. New berries, right? Oh, I love new berries. Ooh, this is cool. This is one, two, three. What is that? Is that a napkin ring? It's got to be. Somebody piled doilies on top and sewed them together and made a little loop. Is that a napkin ring, Roy? What do you think? Here's another one. Ooh. Oh, wow. Spiral tissue bag filler. How cool is that? Too bad it wasn't red and black, so red and white. Use it. But you can't use red and white because that's our. Did anyone else have these when they were a little kid? Hold on, let me clear this. I'm just going to put it in this tin for now. Snaps is what I think your colorful circles are. Snaps? Erin, could you hold the crochet flowers up to the camera? Sure. And then it's got like a little loop. How about a little portfolio with goodies? What kind of goodies? Like edible goodies or like, like what? Because I, I have that portfolio thing. Yeah. She has a Tim, Tim Holtz one that I gave her. I just didn't really know how to use it. 
it's three of them. Uh, oops. One. Oh, I thought it was, yeah. One, two, three, and then with that on the back. Uh, excuse me. Pardon. I mean, what else would you use it for? I don't know. Uh, ooh, I make them. They are such fun. Is that what it is, Roy? Is it a um? Napkin. Are they napkin rings? You're welcome. This one. You want to try this one? Sure. So I said you would like Jess's favorite. Isn't that good? Yeah. And that's one too. Right. Uh, Jean said no, food not a good idea, not mm -hmm. allowed for travel. So she's think she must be like little like little trinkets and stuff. Yeah, little goodies. Little keepsakes, like like a card card pictures. Card and pictures, probably. Oh. A travel journal, Deb says, a travel journal to write in and put pictures in while she's there. The thing with that is I, I feel like her, her family will get her something like that. I feel like that's something a lot of people are going to get her. Yeah. I want to make it very unique. Oh, Roy says, I use them for lots of things. Right now I'm planning a video using them for a bracelet and then another as a tie for journals. Cool. Oh, a girl said stationary items so she can write to you. Ooh, she likes that idea of real. Yeah, because Sophie is sentimental, so she would enjoy pen talent. She's very sentimental. And I could have the stamps. You guys remember these when we from when we were well, if, you if want you're my age. From, my, from when I stayed at that one house. I'll just I'll just get it. With the real little kid or the real the dolls. I had one like this. It was uh I use them for my, okay. Uh, mine was nursery rhymes. Yes, Debbie, that's cute too. Yeah. And to the depths. <clears throat> And then I have this one. He sees the nursery rhyme one on the back. Three little kittens, Hansel and Gretel. What time is it? Pinocchio, Little Red Hen, Jack and the Beanstalk. And I have to go close the door to the hallway. Uh, Goldilocks, and Three Bears, Mother Goose, Cinderella. This one's Pinocchio. You guys have? Did you guys have these when you were little? Anybody remember these? So, just be glad it wasn't water. This one is so cute. Pinocchio, he was so bad. You guys still there? Fitzy. This was my dog when I was little. His name was Fitzy. <laughs> this is at Christmas. He was a West Highland White Terrier Poodle Mix. Can you figure out what this drawing is? I drew it one day for Cassie. It's stairs. Really? Look at it. You can't figure that out? No. It's the entrance. It's between the middle high school and the high school. The blocks and the ramp. Look at the back. Tell what that is. Jimmy. Yeah, it's any. Uh, a Westie. My great dame was afraid of a Westie. <laughs> oh, there's a good idea. Brill, she could personalize them too. She said you can make her some postcards and she can drop a quick wish you were here. You could pre address some envelopes, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or you could pre address the, the postcards so yeah. that she doesn't have to write your address. address. Time. Yeah. Oh, and I got this super cool box. It's, um, is it wood? Yes, it is wood. It's lacquered wood. That's the cover. 
And then I got these cards. Cute by all Jack Russell knew. That's what Pixie looks like. <laughs> oh, Roy remembers those books. Bless you. We're older, but I do remember them. See, are these all the same? It's always the question with these cards. So these would be cute in a potion journal. These are really nice. They have two decks. Oh, they are a little different. I need to do a mixed card lot set. I have so many. Oh, come on, get back in there. Pinocchio, yeah. Oh, oh Danes, yeah. They're sweeties. Great names? Yeah. They just don't live long enough. Oh, those are Hallmark those cards. They're so big. Yeah, the bigger the dot, the yeah. shorter the lifespan. Hey, Laura. How are you? Glad you could join us. And here's the other part of the box. Lacquered wood. Oh. What else? What else is Yeah. This is. Oh, this is a really cool book. It's the Lut Luter Luterlo System International. Um, the ideal do-it-yourself pattern making method. It's got really neat pictures in it. Like every every page is outfits and patterns. I thought it was cool. And they're all drawn. They're all um, illustrated, not not actual photos. So I thought that was neat. I don't want to open that. Here comes the linens. <laughs> this is machine stitched, but it's still pretty. It's a tablecloth. I think it's machine stitched. Yeah. How can you tell? Um, it's just because of the back. If this was if this was hand stitched, it would have like a lot of crossovers oh. and yeah. So there's that. Copy that before you use it. Yeah. Um, we're cleaning out books, books, books. Yeah. Erin, I'm helping a friend. Her mother is a a hoarder and loves books. Ooh. Wow, Jean. I should have a sale. Do they want to see some of my drawings? You guys want to see some of Tessie's drawings? I, I would draw these at work and then my boss would throw them out. I can't see what it's. So I would take them out of the trash can. <laughs> that's my tattoo. The top one. Oh, that's her tattoo. See, this was the shopping. She turned into a shopping list. Mm -hmm. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, this is the stamp from Paris. Oh, yeah. Ooh, airmail. What's that? The envelope is airmail. I don't know what that means. It had to be flown. See how it's got the stripes around the edge? Yeah. That's airmail. Isn't everything in there? Would it otherwise be both? Yeah. If it's from Paris? Yeah, yes. Yeah. See, I wanted to. I wanted to mail them back, but I didn't know how to write that on an envelope. What? That's her address. Who's the girl who sent me there? Oh, it's who I stayed at when I went to Paris. Who's house I stayed at? But Maddie would know she's been there lots of times. You in here, Maddie? Darla likes your drawings. Thanks, Darla. Just some doodles. I'm not very good at drawing, but I'm good at doodling. Oh, these are butterflies too. Jeez. Something over here. Oh, butterfly things. Yeah. 
Yeah, you agree? No, but every once in a while when I walk in here, I smell something funky. There's some hearts. Is Maddie in there? Did she respond? No. And what else I got? Isn't this morbid? Oh gosh. Yeah. From the newspaper. The original one. No. There's Did you heart. know you went to Brockport? Oh, I don't know. There's a heart. Oh no, it's not a heart. It looked like a heart. It was folded like a heart. Little doilies. And this says bread. This goes in the bottom of a you will see it on here. You flip these over. And this is bread. <clears throat> and I like this one because it had the green around the edges. What do you want to do with this? This one has, and this is another heart one. And this one, I love this one. It's so dainty. Can you sell items on Etsy? It can only be like homemade things. Just the way I want. There's some really, really nice silver mountain rings on there. I really want to buy myself one. They're expensive. You guys awake? There's another doily. What's that? I don't know. I was going to ask someone if they knew what it is. It's got a little ring. Okay, who knows what this is? It's got tassels, and this is like a pocket, but it's got holes. And then it's got this little ring here. What is that? What is the book next to my computer? Oh. oh, that's Tessa's book. That's my journal. <laughs> that's her journal. It's a bit of a, it's a little destroyed. <laughs> but. <laughs> Did oh. you ever use that one that I made you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You asked me to make you a journal and I made one for you. Oh, you made me a scrap. Yeah, I used that. Oh, I used that? that was for someone's Christmas present. Oh. That's for Sophia's Christmas present. Darla said it looks cool. Thanks. Cell phone holder. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I think it's too old, though. Well, I just don't. What would you hang that on? Because usually those are for chargers, and that wouldn't be big enough for a charger. That hole. Are you pinching that? Yeah. Probably a hanging pad for some utensils. What would go in here? Calculator. I think it's a very specific. I don't know. Well, the only thing you could really hang that on would be like a nail or a little couture. I was thinking you could hang it on like your apron string. I don't know. It's, it's, it's cool. I feel like the only reason you would make this would be for a very specific purpose. Jennifer Jane said, yes, I'm here, but I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> Darla said it looks like an elf hat. Maybe oh we are looking at it all wrong. Maybe it's supposed to go this way. Otis. Otis, will you stop complaining? You complain too much, Baba. Odie, come here. No, I'm not gonna. And there's six of these. And another doily like the turquoise one. And that's it for that pile. And then this is just it's just a cut work curtain. And another cut work curtain. This is a whole set of cut work curtains. So let's move those aside because they all look exactly the same. Uh, okay. 
And I got this, which I thought was super pretty. Of course, it's got my two favorite colors, my favorite color combo. Like a dresser scarf. Do we have a tablecloth with that print? The nose color. They're definitely seeing that. They're like a napkin or something. <laughs> Jennifer Jane said a ketchup holder. Dishwashing <laughs> sponge. <laughs> Otis. Otis, do you need to get up on the table and say hello to everybody? You're too big. I think my butthole can. You're too big. Well, you know what he wants now because he ate. Is it out? Yep. Red doily alert. Red doily alert. Jennifer Jane likes red doilies. You are going out, grandmother. Uh, Jennifer Jane said he does want to get up on the table. He does. <laughs> I snagged this. This is a pillow sham. Ooh. Got a cute crochet rose in the middle. I got more doilies. My husband is home. So we'll see. Jennifer Jane said, yes, cool journal test. Thanks. Uh, Darla said, Otis is jealous because I'm talking to them and not him. <laughs> She's probably not. Ooh. Look at this one. That was cool. Well, they're going to bark. Just don't worry, you guys. Barking coming up. Another one of those. And another butterfly. Probably going to have to get off. Butterflies. I'm online. Yeah, he's going to turn the basketball game on, so. I'm almost done. This is just clean. Uh, I got this is a mobile. Ah, not bad. These are Susie's Zoo stickers. If I can get the bag open. My cat would be all over the table right now, smelling everything and deciding which items belong to him. <laughs> wow, do you have a truck? How do you get all this home? We have a van uh, with a cargo area underneath. We got some Susie Zoo stickers. I love Susie Zoo. If you make a card for Sophia, you could put those on there. They're like, yay, and good for you. They're cute. I love Susie Zoo. Are, these, are they all this one? Um, another bag of buttons. And this I'm going to make a treasure box out of. Treasure box out of that. And the last things I got are... This is a Crayola Design Kit Manual. So you can make all of those things. And then I got this Made in Japan price guide. It's got neat graphics inside. Like those are the original advertisements and they made a copy. So that is it for my haul. And Chris is home and I can't see the chat because my file is so high in front of my face. Oh, I covered up my microphone? No. Or maybe you sound muffled for a minute. Where's your microphone? It's not. Oh. Um, buttons again. Love treasure box. Taco Stack was at a thrift store where they had a twin quilt. Oh, isn't that funny? I love Taco Stacks. Your and hello, Linda. Oh, Linda, were you here when I showed that mystery item? That red thing? Linda knows what everything is. Where is it? Do you have it? Yeah, I threw it on there. 
Let's peel back the layers, shall we? Linda, what is that? Tons of goodies. Cool stuff, Erin. I'm going to go eat dinner now, but it was nice hanging out with you guys. Yes, you too, Jennifer. I'm going to have to get off because Chris is home. He's going to turn on the TV. But Linda, do you have any idea what this is? She said it was to hold a kitchen spoon. Oh, she did? Dishwashing sponge holder. Oh, okay. And you hang, do you hang it up like on your cupboard? You read that out loud. I know, but I didn't realize it was Linda that said it. Because Linda knows what everything is. Educated. Yeah. It's an earring. Mm. <laughs> Somebody would wear that as an earring, I'm sure. I went to a yard sale when I was in Florida. And holy cow, the earrings that this lady had. They had to be four inches long. And you hang it on your... Okay. Thank you, Linda. What'd she say? It's a dishwashing sponge holder. Where do you hang it on? Hang it on your cupboard and have it on a hook. Oh. Oh. Bye, Erin. Good seeing you again. Yes, it was really nice to see all you guys. And a lot of these things will be for sale at a live sale near you soon. <laughs> for sure. Oh. All right, everybody. Oh, take care. I gotta go back to my page. I don't even know how to. Uh, let me see. How do I? Do I have to go to Hangouts? How do I close it? I never know. Channel dashboard. No. Live events. No. Where does your store off? Okay, let me see. How do I? This was such fun. Hugs to you, lovely people. Yes, hugs to you too, Roy. Tess also said she wants to be your neighbor. Yeah. Thanks for showing us everything. Have a good night. Yes, you're welcome, Darla. It was it was fun. You have a good night too. How do I end this stream? <laughs> Help me. Oh, do I have to go down? Analytics, edit video. Where's the stop button? What's this? <laughs> Add translations. No. No, I'm not old enough to drink. Uh, I said that. Not yet. One, One more, more year. <laughs> Analytics, edit video. No, I just want to stop the video. You've never done this before? I don't remember how to do it. Wait, what's this? Mute. Next shift. Yeah, part two? No. Ugh. What about the live one? No, that's not it. I did this through Hangouts. How do I, how do I end it? Do I have to go up here to Hangouts? Let me see. Where is it? Uh, no, not That's all right. They'll help me. They'll tell me what to do in a minute. Is it like the link? Yeah. I think you hang up in Hangouts. How do I get there? Shut the power strip off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tab to the other window. Um, is it the live events window? Yeah, Deb, doesn't that make you feel better? You're not the only ding dong around here. <laughs> not saying you're a ding dong, but I am. Hello. Live events, and then I have channel dashboard. I'll tap, tap to the other window. My channel dashboard. Live events. Edit. Start hangout on air. New live event. Return to YouTube studio. Oh, poop. 
Oh, if you use Alt plus Tab, it will take you back to Hangouts. Thank you, Darla. Alt and Tab. Where's Tab? There it is. At the same time. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I love Darla. <laughs> Are you free to hang up soon? Well, I got to hang up. Hold on. Okay, good night, everybody. Thank you, Darla. You're the bestest. Bye.